Good morning. This is Bill from Out of Your Open Naples, and today I've got no ducks on the ground, no ibis in the air, I've got no weed whackers anywhere. It's just a lovely, proper, cool Florida morning with no threatening problems. And what I also have is this incredible hippie van. Uh, this is a 2011, I think it's 2011, it's a 2012 Volkswagen Rutan SE. You can be part of the Rutan clan. Uh, it's uh, finished in a really nice metallic black outside. It's got light gray uh, interior, just a very, very attractive piece. So when you want to be far out and groovy and you don't have your 21 window microbus handy, then uh, this thing will be it's probably just a little more modern when you're trying to get to the big protest or you know, find your way to that uh, big uh, music festival up north. Uh, you're gonna do so in a little bit more comfort than you're used to. Uh, you can see everything nice and proper all around. Very, very clean. This thing's like the Swiss Army knife of the uh, of the van world. Uh, you know, it has uh, power side doors, power rear door, uh, big alloy wheels. And, uh, you know, even though you think this may be a Chrysler minivan, it's not. It's a Volkswagen minivan. Okay, so it is kind of a Chrysler minivan, but the good news about it being a Chrysler minivan is that means it's a great minivan. Uh, you know, Volkswagen was trying to foray into the U.S. market. The Eurovan was just uh, uh, just too much damn trouble over here. It just, yeah, you know, it just kept breaking. It was really a horrible, horrible unit, uh, other than it looked pretty good. But, uh, you know, so what they needed was something, uh, I don't know, maybe just a little bit more reliable, functional, and accessible to everyday Americans. And that's what they found in the Chrysler minivan. So they found some new sheet metal for it, a whole new front end with the uh, hippie badge uh, Volkswagen logo up front. Uh, they say they massaged all the seat panels, or sorry, seat panels, all the quarter panels uh, and uh, bodywork on the car. Maybe, maybe they did. But, uh, you know, either way, looks pretty much like a town and country to me. That said, it's a Volkswagen Rutan. <laughs> All right, so let's look inside the uh, hatch of this thing. I like the rear wiper. Look at that big, uh, far out and groovy VW badge there. All right, so here you can see the uh, the back. We got this nice uh, little cargo store down there. It's Friday, so I got donuts for the guys. Uh, those rear seats with all the numbers on the flaps, uh, if you pull them in a certain order, which I'm not even going to begin to think about, uh, will fold down neatly into this uh, area right here and give you tons of cargo room in the back. Uh, you can see everything proper and lovely. They've got little hooks to hook your stuff onto, so if you got a big ship and a tie stick, you'll be able to batten it down nice and tight uh, and otherwise everything just lovely and proper back here and it warns you when it's uh when it's closing all right so i could just pull that door handle to start the uh power doors but it's more fun to do it this way so i'm gonna hop in go to the overhead console and press those two buttons and look at that magic so your furry freak brothers are going to be be able to jump in the back there in a pinch, you know, get the uh, get the smoke out going, and everyone's going to be flying high. Uh, you can see it's got these captain's chairs. Uh, you know, wavy gravy never had it so groovy. He's going to be able to sit in there and uh, hit the bong and enjoy himself. Uh, you put this thing down, which is always hard to do one-handed. <laughs> All right, so we're in good shape now. Uh, you can see it becomes like a little coffee table or, you know, a place to sort out your uh, bag of goodies. And uh, you got room for three more there in the back and uh, those flip up uh, frying pan looking headrests. You also got a plethora of uh, LED lit up uh, storage compartments up there. So if you're trying to hide something from the fuzz, you just stuff it in here real quick. They'll never know. Never know. You also got, oh God, oh Lord, I'm getting old and out of shape. We push this guy here, down comes the uh, rear uh, DVD, so you'll be able to watch, uh, I don't know what it is those people watch back then, I'm sure something interesting. Uh, anyway, works great, I tested out this morning. Uh, you can put your DVDs in <laughs> if you have any. It doesn't play uh, uh, VHSs or, uh, you know, eight millimeter film, but you'd be able to get some DVDs in there and watch whatever you want. You also got some rear air conditioning, so things are nice. More compartments. All right, so I'm gonna close these doors again, which I do just by 
reversing my initial setup. Look at that. There they slide. You also got sunscreens on there, which is pretty nice. One of those big vents in the uh, roof for the air conditioning. All right, and under the hood, we have what every hippie in a hurry needs. And that is a 283 horsepower VVT uh, V6. So this thing absolutely hauls ass. Uh, has a, a six-speed automatic gearbox. Very smooth, very peppy. Uh, they also put it in this uh, very unrelated vehicle called a, a Chrysler Town & Country. But, uh, you know, somehow these two very different platforms ended up sharing the same motor. Anyway, lovely under there. That metallic black paint. Nice stuff. Black power. All right, let's hop in. So in here, we've got all kinds of great Volkswagen fit and finish. Uh, you know, they've updated all the uh, interior, looks great, lots of brushed aluminum looking stuff. Stuff our key in here. And fire this, uh, that doesn't sound air cooled. All right, so here we are nicely ensconched in our hippie van. And we've got this row of uh, Captain Kirk style, uh, you know, power windows. This is a great thing about this is it has uh, power windows on the uh, on the doors. Now that's real Swiss Army knife stuff. So uh, you got uh, you know four actual windows in a minivan. Uh, this uh, will open up the little vent windows at the back. So if you need to, you know, air out that tie stick for again with the fuzzer coming up behind you, you'd be able to do that in a pinch. You got your headlights over here. You got this multifunction steering wheel for your. Uh, Bluetooth and cruise control, very nicely laid out instrument cluster, even on a crazy, you know, bad acid trip, you're going to be able to read those nice and neat. Uh, you got this uh, insane little shifter up here way on the dashboard, uh, which is goofy as hell, but it does mean you don't have to have any uh, big, uh, you know, stuff down here or one of these ridiculous <coughs> column shifters. Uh, you also got your in-dash infotainment, so you'll be able to listen to Jefferson Airplane or, uh, you know, I don't know, Credence or whatever it is these people listen to. Uh, if you hit that, that's where you're going to put your uh, your vinyl phonograph records or your CDs. Uh, over here, you got your um, navigation, so you're going to get to Woodstock with that. Where am I now? That's a great question. Where am I now? Uh, with a <laughs> seatbelt in it. All right, there we go. You'll be able to get to Woodstock with no problem. You also have, uh, you know, AM, FM, and satellite radio for 60s on 6. Uh, down here, you've got your automatic climate control. you got heated seats because a cold hippie isn't a friend to anybody. Uh, you got, uh, this is all your DVD drive for that back, uh, that player. Uh, we got a little pull-out set of cup holders there for your... Uh, beverages, we got some power outlets, we got a little center console with stuff that slides around, all very lovely. You also have a compartment here for your, uh, well, I guess it's not going to be a Glock or, uh, uh, you know, any kind of 9 mil. You're probably going to want to keep your, uh, I don't know, keep your bong in there, your head scarf, your tie-dye shirts, that sort of thing down here. Another one, fantastic. Got an owner's manual for when you lose track. Uh, you also have a garage door opener up there, and uh, this great little, uh, well, you could call it a mom mirror, so you could sit there and threaten your kids with a big fist, you're coming to get them, but, uh, you know, it's probably something hippie related anyway, you know, keep an eye on Wavy, make sure he isn't doing anything stupid like mooning the cops behind you. All right, let's go for a spin in our hippie van. Away we go. So I have to say, this thing rides a lot better than any 1960s Volkswagen bus. Uh, it's really, really smooth. Get some AC going. Uh, it's, uh, you know, the lovely steering that's actual power. It just connects you to the road. Uh, you know, you're sitting nice on a you get terrific visibility, nice up high feel. And uh, again, you got a whole flock of, you know, flower children in the back. So... Uh, you know, it's a pretty comfortable way to get around. You're not going to have to roll out of this thing when you get to Woodstock. You just step out feeling refreshed and nice. There's a couple of hippies now over on the left. Uh, anyway, uh, a 283 horse. Let's see what that feels like when you hit it. <laughs> we got wheel spin. 
Okay, I am convinced that neither hippies nor mothers need that much power, but uh, I guess uh, Volkswagen uh, slash Chrysler decided to deliver it. I think uh, Volkswagen Chrysler is Fiat now, so uh, this thing could well end up being a Lancia. Uh, anyway, here it is, 2012 Volkswagen Rutan SE. Uh, pretty good equipment in here. You got all your power doors, you got stowable seats, you got navigation, satellite radio. Uh, you're going to be the hippest hippie on the block with this thing. So uh, if you have an interest, give us a call. 239-649-7300 on the web at mercedesexpert.com. Thanks so much for having a look. We really appreciate it. We'll see you with the next one. Take care.